it has been about three months at this point since the uh, the defeat of Sorthrum Tathara, and Ross, you have teleported to Bertie's place, um, and for the first time, probably seeing the the mansion completed. Um, yeah. 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 So, is it? Yeah, so Bertie, where where do you show Ross through to? Um, cool. So I guess as a really quick thing, because people who are listening will probably have already heard a big description of his house, but um, it's yeah, quite uh, huge. Ross has seen um, uh, it under various stages of construction as well, um, but it's finally finished. Um, there's no plasterboard everywhere. Um, but yeah, super pink, very large and pal uh, not palatial, but big. And there's just flowers basically everywhere in every possible room. Um, but he kind of, uh, when Ross arrives after he would be ushering her sort of into, um, uh, his lounge room, which I guess is big and very pink. Um, it's like, it's like a big plush fantasy sofas. And like a big fireplace. I don't can't remember what the season is right now. Winter possibly, actually. Um, um so if it is, the fireplace is on. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So it'd be um, early ish early to mid winter. Excellent. So yeah, the fireplace is roaring. Um, yeah. Very pink, flowers everywhere. Um and uh like like beige flooring, huge big rig rug. Um, cool. And yeah, um, he'll um, have. Pro uh, does Ross like tea? Uh, yeah, she appreciates a cup of tea. Cool. So he'll probably have like um like gotten some tea ready when he heard she was coming. Um, with like some little plate of like fantasy macarons or something like little fancies, I suppose. Um, he's gotten set up. He's like, and yeah, he'll lead her into the lounge and be like, "Ta-da! Isn't it amazing? It's like actually got a roof now and everything. Pretty impressive." Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, Betty, this is amazing! You designed all this. <laughs> Oh, well, well, yeah, uh, that's, that's mostly me, so, for this room, so, yeah, yeah, no, pretty excited about it. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, you know, really, really uh, kind of my style, wouldn't you say? <laughs> oh, so much. It screams you. I love it. This is Excellent. amazing. <laughs> well, that's uh, that's what I was aiming for. So thank Ooh. you, my dear. <laughs> um, but excellent, fantastic. But yeah, my house. Welcome. Uh, yeah, it. no drafts anywhere anymore. <laughs> Except <laughs> you open the window. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks it looks good. It looks so different without all the plastic on the walls. That's wow yeah yeah no definitely it looks like really sophisticated i, I like to think <laughs> you know like a proper like a noble house i mean after all befitting of like a uh a knight like myself and yourself of course <laughs> of course and she kind of does a little half bow but she puts up her right hand and taps the little uh knight of the seven crest on mm -hmm. her on her left side and she like gives a little half <laughs> bow kind of jokingly excellent but Bertie, Bertie will do kind of like a like an even like a lower bow like a in a joking manner as well i suppose um excellent fantastic and he's running quite a few layers because it's winter and he's also winter so <laughs> um but he looks pretty chill um hmm. and yeah yes yeah well, but yeah, thanks for thanks for coming. Pretty exciting to see you drop on by. Yeah. Uh, how are things going? I made some tea if you want some. I have something to eat. Oh, thank you. And um, she's gonna like sit down in one of the little sofas and probably get like lost in it a little bit. Yeah, basically. <laughs> but it'll kind of like flump down the other one on the other one opposite her. Um, yeah. And then um, he'll kind of like, he's holding like a teacup of his own. Um, and then he'll kind of gesture to the little table he's got set up where he has the tea and like the little cakes and stuff. And he also has a couple of, he has like a vial of like, um, 
some kind of it looks like like sand or something like that and he has a little inkwell and he has a feather um all kind of like set up very carefully there he's like and i uh, got everything ready for the other thing uh, once you're uh, ready of course uh, cool how are you feeling about it ah uh, well she does something very complicated with her face and then she's <laughs> like it's you know i can't describe how i'm feeling about it really that's but, fair um, yeah uh can't really put it off anymore so i think It'll be good. And the thing is, you'll be 100% in control of it as well. So if you need to tap out, you can tap out any time. So uh, that's fine. We can just hang out if you don't want to You don't want to do it. Or if you just jump in and you're like, yeah, actually, no, that's a little bit too much for me. Um, so let's... It's cool. Don't feel pressured, even though... Even if you've made the decision at this point, I guess. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, plus, I can guarantee it's 100% safe for us. I've, like, tested on Caius before, and, like, he was, like, completely normal. Well, you know, as normal as Caius is. So, like, you know, um... um yeah, like, uh, it'll be fine. And as far as I can understand, I haven't been able to practice it because of, well, you can't... Yeah. Need three people if he... Well, okay. <laughs> Basically, in theory, I should be able to cast this on you the same way I cast it on myself, and you should be able to trance. So, and because you know him, and I've seen him, so I'll be able to anchor on him. And yeah, it should work. So, if yeah. it's like it worked for me, and I've, done, I've practiced it a few times, um, yeah, you can pretty much do anything with it. Um, so yeah, cool, hundred percent safe. No, I... <laughs> <laughs> I trust you, Bertie. Thank you. Uh, cool. <laughs> um, but he kind of like looks uh, down at his uh, teacup for a moment and kind of like adjusts, like his sort of like the he's like got his like uh, legs crossed just at the ankles or something. Kind of adjusts that a little bit. Yeah. Um, and he'll look back up at Ross and just grin. <laughs> she yeah she's like drinking a little cup of tea and stuff and just kind of grinning but she's very like hunched in on herself she's like um before we how have you been uh oh. before we get uh, into it yeah oh not too bad i mean again the house is done finally so that's good um <laughs> and lots of other things to focus on so uh it'll it'll be okay trying to well, you know, trying to get the business going, it's, uh, it's a bit interesting, yeah. so, uh, but that's good. Lots of things to, to worry about, so that's good. Yeah. Well, you know, now that the house is here, I can keep all my paperwork in one place, so that's good. <laughs> um, and, yeah, you know, and things like uh, the spell, like, you know, it's, it's been good to kind of focus on all that. So, yeah, yeah. no, <laughs> no too bad. Yeah. No, I can I can understand having like projects and stuff. It'd be good keeping your keeping your brain busy. Um, yeah, yeah, that's it. You yeah. know, <laughs> after having such a busy time, it's you, you, got, you get used to it. So uh, mm. it's uh, mm. 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 yeah. No, um, uh, Newman's been uh, teaching me how to help out in his little workshop. So uh, that's been that's been good to to keep yeah. my brain busy. So. <laughs> Yeah, I can, I get that. Um, and it, like, while she's like doing that, um, Brady will kind of uh, like fiddle a bit. He's got like a, he'll like get his little flask and just kind of quickly just uh, pop that into his teacup and then pop that back down. Like, yeah, so um, cool, cool. The workshop, that's good. That's good. You've been kind of working on that with Newman and like, yeah. How's he kind of. Did you tell him you were going to do this? Yeah. Um, I didn't mention we were doing it today. Just, uh, uh. I knew he might want to come along. And um, even if he didn't, I, 
I don't know. I he wants to talk to Sam at some point, and I don't oh. know if I can deal with that. Yeah, right now. Yeah, no, I think um, I think that's a good good move. I, and again, I think a lot of what Newman does is comes from a good place in his heart. But uh, yeah. yeah, I think you don't even know what to feel about possibly talking to Sam um, after a while. I think um, it's it's best for you to, to work through it first. Plus, yeah. Newman would probably, like, say some really awkward stuff. <laughs> like, you know, oh, that would be funny, but, uh, well, it's Newman. Mm. Maybe if try to offer him mayonnaise or something, which would be a good icebreaker, but man, who knows? Maybe he's allergic. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is Sam allergic to eggs? Anyway, um, yeah, no, and Newman's very curious about the other things about Sam we've discussed, uh, so, yeah, uh, kind of, <laughs> it's fine, yeah, everything's no. fine. Oh, it's all good, yeah, <laughs> it'll, it'll be cool, um, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I'm glad Newman was Are you... better about it. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, he was really good about it. No, no, it's like, good. He was really good about it. That was surprising, but it shouldn't have been. So that's probably a good summary of a lot of new the things Newman does and says. I'd say <laughs> so. It's, yeah. it's good. I'm glad. <laughs> it's a tough situation enough yeah, on your I, own, so I'm glad. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, are you going to be okay being all alone watching me sleep the whole time? Oh, that kind of sounds really dodgy, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> uh, Sorry. Well, well, you know. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I get no intention. Um, no, I should be fine. I think, um, I... I'll probably just chill. I got a bit of paperwork to do, so I'll just kind of sit nearby. And, like, if you look distressed, I might be able to try and, like, wake you up if you can't bring yourself to wake yourself up, you know? Um, yeah. But, yeah, I'll, I'll be near, I'll be, I'll be sitting right near you. So if that isn't weird, of course. No, um, no, it's fine. But it shouldn't be. No, yeah, cause, it's, cause it's fine. Friends. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, we're friends. Yeah. Yeah, we are. So it'll be good. And, you know, you trust me, and I trust you, mm -hmm. so it'll be good. And you yeah. trusted Sam, so I think this will go fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And she skulls the rest of her tea. <laughs> and she's like, okay. I am ready when you are. Okay. Um, and Bertie will uh, put the his teacup down and stand up, um, dust himself off, and he will, um, kind of, uh, uh <laughs> he's got, like, a big, like, big rug, he'll kind of, like, pull that back, he's, like, obviously already chalked out some little symbols under the, under the rug, I guess, mm -hmm. um, and then he'll carefully get the, um, the vial of sand, uh, the inkwell, and uh, quill, uh, the quill, and pop that down there and be like, okay, so um, uh, you can grab one of the pillows over there, and you should be able to, like, mm -hmm. just put your head just, like, in center, put the pillow on your, put the pillow down, put your head on the pillow, and yes. then land in the center yes. of that, and then I'll get the mm -hmm. rest sorted. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Cool, cool, and um, <laughs> it feels a bit weird at first, but mm -hmm. You are in control of this, so it'll be fine. That's all okay. I can kind of recommend, I guess. Um, hmm. Okay. Okay. And whenever you're ready, I'll get started. Yep. She and... closes her eyes and, like, puts her hands together on her stomach, and she goes, when you're ready. Okay. And um, Betty will uncork the um, vial of sand, kind of put that sort of like not on Ross, but like around, like like a little halo around her head. Um, he'll then um, 
with the inkwell, which is pink, he will like um put like a <laughs> finger in that um and uh just stab that like I suppose um who probably like um just on the side of one temple and then on the other one and then he will get uh, he'll put that down and he'll get the uh feather and he'll then um kind of just uh very lightly tap both of her eyes with the end of like the feather and then probably at that point um I guess I can kind of imagine the uh, flower tattoo that he has, even though that's not his feet, would start to kind of like light up a bit and that energy from the spell would then pulse. Uh, would kind of like, I think, sort of like drop, like a uh, wash across Ross like a veil. Um, and then I imagine dream would be, would happen yeah. and Ross would find herself somewhere. Yeah. So Ross, mm. you, you have control over the surroundings here. Mm -hmm. So describe, yeah, describe the surroundings. Okay. There would probably be a moment where she's kind of, um, uh, sensing out what control of the scene feels like. And in that moment, it's probably all black. And then it suddenly will kind of snap into this, uh, big room it's long but kind of short it's got exposed beams in the ceiling one wall is entirely mirrors but there's dark curtains drawn across, across it so you can only see part of the mirrors there's black curtains all around the room uh there's like a, a teacher's desk uh next to like a storage cabinet um up against one wall there's big double doors uh through the gaps in the curtains along the wall opposite the mirrors, you'd maybe see beams of light indicating windows, and the whole floor is, uh, what's it called, like, uh, tarket, like black tarket, uh, with, it, but it's covered in scuff marks as if it's been in use for a while, and the whole room is just, like, painted black with exposed dark beams. And Ross herself she wouldn't change her appearance uh notably her eyes would be her fake yellow and red eyes but she is wearing um like a black button-up uh shirt tucked into just like black slacks um and she's wearing like little uh like black ankle boots as well and she's just standing in the middle of the room and she waits for sam to arrive yeah and you wait an hour you wait <laughs> two hours a little longer before it, in a moment of boredom you you stare into the mirror on the wall when you hear from behind you this is very clever it's been a while since we were in this room, huh? Yes. Is this you? Depends. How often do you dream, Samuel Visk? Often enough. <laughs> she turns around and looks at him. This one feels different, though. Could be. Plausible deniability dictates that maybe this is just a normal dream and you never spoke to me. Of course. <laughs> Depends if anyone pokes around your head, though. True. <laughs> True. So assuming this is real, why? I think you're behind on your grid work. And she sits down on the floor and takes off her shoes. And 
throws them into the storage cabinet and looks at him. What does he look like right now? What's he wearing? What's he looking like? <laughs> um, that's something. Do you have control over what he's where you wouldn't, would you? No. So he. What is he wearing in his dreams? A bikini. <laughs> no. So he's he's probably um, wearing a loose, uh, dark red bed shirt and um, black, uh, like black pants. Okay. Like, Has he got like any loose? like visible scars or bruises since the last time uh, you saw him roll me a uh a perception check do you have my perception up because i don't yes <laughs> uh that's a 16 on the dice oh god that's 30. uh 30. your perception is plus 14. what <laughs> you have expertise in it i uh, forgot that bit <laughs> Well, baby, what do you look like? Um, yeah, no. The, You'll the, notice if he's got new freckles. Yeah, the, yeah, there are there are no new scars. No new scars. Okay, cool. <laughs> Wasted a thirty. Yeah. Let's go. Um, uh, all right. Well, yeah, she's gonna put her shoes in the storage cupboard and look at him, and then just kind of bump him on the shoulder and she's going to just start walking in a straight line and then halfway across the room is going to take a hard turn to the right hard turn to the left keep walking left left right like and just start doing grid work which is where you, yeah you just walk along a grid and you either run walk or stop and she's just going to start doing that he he stays put and folds his arms and just watches a look of curiosity on his face. She's going to look over at Sam and just be like, it's about sensing our impulses as a group. Join the group, Sam. There's no group, Ross. Or revive. Don't we or count? What, what are you going by these days? I don't know, High Commander Visk. Are we still lying to ourselves? That is an interesting question. Are you going to answer it? What makes you think I'm lying to myself? I don't know, Sam. Red never suited you. Is it a lie to myself? To infiltrate others? I don't I don't know Sam we have the same job don't we it's all lying it's all lying because if part of this is the real you What part of you coincides with the wizards? What part of me does? For all I know, nothing. God. I just... I I don't know how to talk to you anymore. Jeez. And yet here you are. 
And yet here I am. Fuck. Well, fine. You don't want the icebreaker. You don't want the room. You don't want the last time I was happy. Fine. And she crosses her arms. Are you still in contact with Drakkar? Less frequently, but yes. Good. He's talking to one of us. Is it only via sending? Yes. Does he want to be found by anyone else? I am uncertain of that. Cool. Great. I guess I have to keep trying then. He's never been the clearest of mentors. You should know that. You're telling me. Hmm. All right. Well, how was the aftermath of the Zath fight? It's been interesting. I. We kept it quiet, or I, I was able to keep it quiet for a time. But uh, eventually I had to give some explanation to them for why they were no longer available. What explanation did you give? That... That they had been, uh... Ambushed by... By, uh... Monsters in the Warding Wilds. That my troop and I only... Well, that I managed to be the only survivor of the troop from the attack. Hmm. More dead wizards. Not a bad thing. Hmm. Alright. No panic stations, though? No one... Extra security? Harder to break in? As far no as I can tell... No galas for a few months? As far as I can tell, no. Though there are some who appear suspicious. Of you or in general? Uh, in general, I hope not of me. No. Though I can't. Heir to the great Taven Sarag, they wouldn't be suspicious of you. Sorry, that... Sorry. I mean, that... that... monster needs no heir. He's no. immortal, and if... No. If... If he falls before enough of his empire's uh, pillars do, they'll find a way to bring him back, even, even without the phylactery. <sighs> I know. I'm sorry. Embrun's already, uh... ...managed something, uh... ...unusual... ...in that field. What? I... I cannot fully understand it, um... ...but... 
Dread Master, uh, Dread Magister Kira Embrun. Uh, she has devised some sort of machine that I, I, I do not understand how it works, but it is it is what sustains her. I suspect it may be what would be placed upon Sarag if he were to die and not be able to bro be brought back with his phylactery. They have the diamonds in place to bring him back if they need it. Of course they do. Because why would it be easy? Mm. Though I think, I think if there's anyone Plausible who can, deniability. Ooh. I think if there's anyone who can uh, work out Dreadmaster, uh, Dread Magister Embrun's uh, tech, it'd be your tabaxi friend. His name's Newman. Newman, that was it. I was not given the full briefing. <laughs> <laughs> There wasn't a lot of time. No. He wants to talk to you, you know. Interesting. Make his mind up about you. Spies from the Concord, he can understand you. He wants some extra information. He's only gracing you with that benefit because you're important to me. Might have to get a few sendings out. Speaking of, are there any other Concord spies we should know about? People we should avoid should the situation arise? Plausible deniability, of course, this is all a dream and you have no idea what I'm talking about, but... I... There are others I have not been given the names. Well, another reason to talk to Jakar. All I know is that they are in, in places that I am unlikely uh, to come across them. That was our, um, it's our safety method. It was, it was too dangerous to have some sort of code sign, so. Makes sense. Because code signs can be found out. Mm. Best the Concord covers its tracks. Mm. She walks back into the middle of the room and she has her arms crossed and she just looks at him and goes, so how are you? Stressed. You? Stressed. So, plausible deniability, I'm not going to make any assumptions as to whether this is real or not, but I will ask on the, if one were to assume this was real, is it possible to cast spells in this space? I don't know. Could give it the red or hot try. Though I must warn you, if this is some 4D chess double cross, I'm in charge here. I'm pretty sure at a certain point I outrank you. <laughs> so. Mage hangs on three. 
Mage hands on three. One. Two. Three. And you both gesture for mage hands Sorry. and nothing happens. <laughs> So no spells here. <laughs> Damn. Might that would have been fun. Would have been. Might restrict some options, unfortunately. <laughs> options for what? <laughs> for what can be communicated. For the sake of plausible deniability, of course. Of course. <sighs> if you'll humor me, Sam, do you remember that exercise they made us do, week one, where we had to go up to the mirror and she looks over at the gap. It's maybe like half a meter wide. We had to go to the mirror, we had to say three nice things about ourselves, and three bad things about ourselves. And we weren't allowed to sit down and walk away from the mirror until we did. Do you remember? Vaguely. Do you remember anything you said? She's looking in the mirror. I'm assuming it's like a, like a real dream, you can't see a reflection, really. I think that's up to you. Oh, okay. Uh, it'd be blurry. It wouldn't be a okay. one for one. Mm. Not from the distance they are from mm. it. Do you remember anything you said, good or bad? Can't say I do. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all that brain space. Yeah. I don't remember what I said either. What I do remember... Do you remember that lecturer? Oh, God. James? James... Rochester. That was the, the lecturer, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. 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 Mean old man. He pulled me aside after class and told me that I sat down too quickly. And clearly, I didn't say enough bad things about myself because for someone like me, how could I find anything good? So, Sam, if we're going to do cute shit like Mage Hand, if you're going to brief me on things, if we're going to do this more, you can't turn to me and say, what name are you using now? Because this is the shit I have been dealing with. All right? And I will not be bullied by you two. You came here, Ravari. I did. Because I thought I was talking to you, not to who you are now. And the wall, the curtains all start fluttering in an invisible breeze. But we're both different people, and that's my fault. All right, so... Ravari, you have given me no evidence that I am speaking to you. What do you mean? Until that story just now, uh, what you have said to me is something that anyone could have said. Why w Sorry, sorry. Did you not bury the lead enough? Because you didn't talk to me for I four years. I said to you that Sam? I had <laughs> who people right? who are on my back. 
yeah, so <laughs> in what world would they come to you with my face? We don't know what Zath was able to get back to the rest of the wizards. <laughs> that is information that even that only the Dread Magisters know. <laughs> what I do know didn't know shit about what you mean to me. What do you know? What we do know is that they got something back. What? Because the Magisters are working on something and they wouldn't have been without that information. What got back? I was I with them almost know. the whole time. And Zath's deal is infiltration. <laughs> and they have... They had a biological advantage that we could only dream of. Add to that the so I mastery of the arcane. You didn't fail. You didn't fail <laughs> with us. Fine. Fine. They were just better. We knew that. What are they working on? Or do you not know that too? Is this just been? I've been told that I am waiting on orders. But that it involves Erethold in some way. Erethold? Yes. <laughs> Beyond what? that, they're, they're keeping things tight. And what? so they're ready to act. What could they possibly do with Aerithold? Do you really think that they would stop at Karas? They haven't even finished with Karas. They seem satisfied enough with what they've done. They've got Bubsa, the Bubsa Peninsula. And sure, it might take a couple more generations no, before... No, they don't! They do. It might take a few more generations before the... Before they have the people. But as far as they're concerned, they have the land and that is what matters to them. Because people they can kill. No. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I wish it wasn't true as much as you do. But that the... is how they look at it. The curtains are fully flapping in the breeze. The desk is rattling. No, that's, they haven't. But they know about the resistance now because because of you and, and Zath infiltrating. Like They know about the resistance, so they haven't won. They can't have won. They... As far as they know... <laughs> They, they've killed one of the most powerful members of the Resistance. They see that as a victory. And they're ready to move ahead. There's this moment where she's just looking around and then she just stops. She blinks. Her eyes go fully red, which Sam would never have seen before. And she looks at him. She says, So they're moving on because you've killed Drakkar. They're moving on to Erethol. Because of that. It is a small factor. <laughs> But it's a factor. I cannot deny that. Cool. And Drakkar cool. admits that he miscalculated there. <laughs> but...
there's there's no there's no way to take that back without and you see him falter and he can't even he can't finish the sentence without what Roll me an insight check. Uh, what's my insight? Uh, five. That is a dirty 20. Dirty 20. So you, you notice, like, yeah, you, you know, Sam, like, you can see in his expression, like, fear at the prospect of what would happen if Drakkar's being a lie was revealed. Without revealing you. <laughs> I get it. I fucking hate it, but I get it. So as far as they're concerned, we lost. As far as they're concerned, we lost. Fuck. The room starts shaking and shaking and almost like closing in. And then all of a sudden it just snaps back to normal as Ross just falls to her knees and starts sobbing. Sam goes in and falls to his knees to to hold you. She weakly tries to shove him off, but can't and just collapses. <laughs> what do we do now? I... How do... That's my home. That's my home. And they're just gonna kill us. <laughs> my friend Newman, the party there, all I I do they thought we were expendable, but they they think they won. How much worse are they going to get when they think they won and they could just move on to Aerithold and and Dorum and Caius and Bertie and everyone. They'll just kill everyone. And there'll be no one left and it's... Sam pulls back for a moment, still holding on your shoulders, and gives them a reaffirming squeeze. It's all right. We have... Drakkar has contingencies based on thoughts that he has had of what their plans could possibly be. We're just waiting for more information to put them into place. But what, what information can I help? Can I do anything? Please. Sam, this is my home. And I've been left on the back burner this whole time. Tell Please. Me, tell me who we have. Who of your allies will come to the call of Karas? The, the party? Um, uh, uh, Newman, um, Rook, uh, Bertie, Kais, Anya, um, if I asked, I'm sure they would. Uh, 
Um, anyone else? I I don't know. Maybe we can convince the convocation to do it. If I don't want to, but maybe if that's all we have. Um, I can't. The convocation. The convocation are a big part. Of, convocation are a big part of the reason that um, Drakkar isn't as concerned as he would be for these outcomes. They're the reason he hasn't reached out yet. Because they are a line of arcane defense that Karas never had. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't, anyone else? Um, my parents could die. I... <laughs> Drakkar has made sure that there are extra protections around your parents. They know that that because of your involvement, that they are at particular risk. <laughs> so. I don't know if I can do this. I have faith in you, Ravari. <laughs> Should you? I don't... I don't know who I am anymore, and I don't know if I can do this anymore, and I don't... I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm... Vara, you are one of the best mages, uh, ma one of the best bards that I know. Your your command of music, of the arcane, of of movement. But is that enough? <laughs> is it enough? On its own, no, but. With the right people behind you. Just might be. And. I know that I know very little of your friends. But the way that they held together during. The fight against Sath. When they were putting <laughs> everything. That they had against them. I have faith in all of you. And... and where's your line in the sand? Where do you draw the line and you join us? Because I need to know if that's going to happen. There is a point. It will come. Before this is all over, it will come. There will only be so long that I can stay in New Arcadia before they realize that, uh, that I'm who they've been looking for. Okay. I miss you. I miss you too. 
and I wish you could be here now. And you can't. And who knows what's going to happen until you can. Fuck. He, I'm sorry. He looks into your eyes and, or as best as he can when they're all. <laughs> One color. One color, and it's hard to see where the focus is. And also, um, she's sobbing hysterically, mm, yes. Yeah. Um, and he says, As soon as this is all over, we are going to spend a lot of time catching up. I promise you that. Yeah. You need a chance to bully me more. Fine, I'll bully you back. <laughs> Gotta keep you humble, I guess. <laughs> so, is this real? It's me. It's me, Sam. It's real. Roll me an insight check. Okay. That's a plus five. Mm. Uh, t 21. 21. There's, there's something in... There's, there's two things you notice when, when you, um, when you say that it's you. Um, the first, the first is there is, there is definitely a look of relief. Mm -hmm. Um, but the other is that when he asked the question, he looked like he was working, like that he was about that he was bracing himself for something and he pulled himself back when you said it was real. What? What's wrong? Nothing. He says uh, he has a smile on his face. No, you... I you, weak smile. You pulled a face. <laughs> Spend a lot Did of time I? looking at that face. What are you pulling back from? It's nothing What important. are you bracing for? Are you in danger? I'm always in danger, Ross. She blinks and her eyes go back to yellow and red. Fair. I guess I, I don't have any more questions. Um, everything else is superfluous. Anything you want to say to me? I, I, I'll send you if I think of anything. Okay. Who set this up? Was this you or one of your friends? One of my friends. Which one? Betty. I'll have to remember when I... Th I'll have to remember to thank him when I wake. <laughs> he worked hard on it. He's very clever. Yes, I could tell when I met him. <laughs> Though he doesn't seem to... 
have a lot of confidence in himself. Is that right? None of them do, but Bertie was going through a lot. He's getting better, but it's hard. He's trying, though. He looks around the space and says, this has been an experience. <laughs> I'm surprised this didn't give it away that it was real. I would never tell Zath about this place. You never know what you tell Zath until you've experienced it. Still, I keep these pretty locked away. It's hard to think about these walls sometimes. It'd be nice to go back one day. <laughs> See if they're still in the middle of that cold war. Yeah. <laughs> Um, How was a Corbrian teaching at a Laurentian school? Who knows? It... I... Look, I didn't ask what they did lectures-wise. Hmm. And if I did, they told me to keep my devil nose out of it, so... Yeah. <laughs> I'll let you get back to sleep. Thank you. I'm assuming it's the middle of the day, wherever you are. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't matter, I'm about to go get cataclysmic, so... Have one for me. Good night, Sam. Good night, Bari. And she wakes up. Okay. A few moments later, Bertie, you hear a voice in your head. Bertie. Cool. Ross has information she doesn't know. Don't remove the enchantment until she's heading to New Arcadia. Don't act early for her safety and yours. And that's where we're going to leave this scene. What? What? Hello? What? Oh, what? what? Uh, uh, pardon? 